Now, don't be late. Don't wanna burn myself. I wish you could smell this. So pretty, it looks like bread. You guys, I just, I'm not sure. Kind of a fail. Probably the best bread I've ever had, actually. Stand by. It is Sunday afternoon, evening, and I just have like major cozy fall vibes right now, and I have a candle going, where is it? <laughs> and I figured it was a good night to make some bread. I all of a sudden decided I wanted to make my own homemade bread and I am gluten free. So it's just hard to find one that I like. So I'm gonna make my own. Um, I have the recipe written right here that I'm gonna be using. And I used a couple different recipes actually, and then I just kind of created my own. So I have no idea if this is gonna come out. It could be a complete, <laughs> could be a complete fail, but I just was like, you know, it's Sunday and Ryan's watching football, so I'm gonna bake. And I just thought that that would be so fun. I think this is the first time I've done my hair since the beginning of quarantine. I got ready today and have actual clothes on and all my jewelry and it feels so good to be ready. And yeah, I'm excited to take you along and hopefully this recipe comes out good. And if it doesn't, then it'll be a funny fail video that I can put up. Okay, so I preheated the oven right now to 325. So I'm just gonna wait for that to heat up and then I'm going to start by mixing all of my dry ingredients. I'm gonna mix together one and a half cups of almond meal. I've used almond meal before because I've had to figure out what's good to be for gluten-free baking, so I like almond meal. So I'm gonna do one and a half cups of this. I am like a measure. I like to measure and be very precise and I'm cooking and baking. And then I'm gonna use one and a half cups of organic buckwheat flour, which is also gluten-free. I've never used this before, but it's supposed to kind of have a good like nutty flavor for bread. So we'll see. Two teaspoons of baking powder. They didn't have organic at Sprouts, so I had to get this one. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. And again, they did not have organic baking soda either. I changed the recipe a little bit here and it called for, you know, I can't remember what it called for actually, but um, I'm substituting that for chia seeds. Oh, I think it was xanthan gum but I'm substituting that for chia seeds and I mix this with water, so I'm gonna do that. And then I also i am doing 3 fourths of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix the tablespoon of chia seeds with three tablespoons. Oh, that was wrong. I keep... <laughs> I keep reading tablespoons and teaspoons and mixing them up. That would have been way too much chia. Let's do that again. A teaspoon, a teaspoon of chia seeds, and three teaspoons of water. Okay, so this is actually already thickening up. Okay, so I whisked this together, the dry ingredients, and now I have my chia water mixture. So I'm gonna add that to the dry ingredients too. This is my favorite milk to buy. I get it at Mother's. I love this milk, so I'm gonna use this and I need to warm it up. This has been such a nice weekend, actually. We started the weekend off with a little date night and we put our phones away, which has been so nice and really just like enjoyed each other's company this weekend. And yeah, it's just been like a mellow, kind of relaxing weekend. I like those weekends and it's getting me ready for fall for sure. Okay, so I need two and a half cups 
of cashew milk. I have my warm milk, it's all steamy and cozy. So now I am adding a third cup of ground flax seed. I'm just gonna mix this all together and then it says to let it gel up a little. So you just kind of have to let it sit for a few, few minutes, but flax and liquid gets thick pretty quickly. I've done it with water where I made a flax egg, which I did in my very first YouTube video ever when my mom and I made black bean burgers. Then we're gonna mix all of the ingredients together and that should kind of create like a doughy texture and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. So I'm like so excited to make this. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for so long. So I really, really hope that this comes out good because I haven't had, I actually haven't had bread in a long time and I actually miss it a lot. So I'm excited to make my own because just when you put like love into the bowl and something that you're making, it just tastes so much better. So I think it'll be like very rewarding to eat my very first piece of bread that I made. So this will be like an experiment and a journey that I'm going to take you guys on with me because I am like determined to perfect this if it doesn't come out good this time. But I have hope that it is going to come out so good and I'm going to eat some with my pasta tonight because I made pasta last night and I did like a homemade pesto and I'm going to eat it with that and I'm excited. I let this sit for a few minutes. It's starting to get thicker. It's still like kind of liquidy so you don't want it. I don't think it's going to get super thick but it's definitely thicker and more like jelly I guess you could say than it was before. So I'm going to add the apple cider vinegar and maple syrup and it calls for one tablespoon of each. I feel like I've been baking a lot more too now that quarantine has been going on for like our entire lives now it feels like, but I actually have been baking and cooking even more than I was before, which has been so fun. I'm not really a big baker, but now all of a sudden I've been like kind of liking to bake. So tune in for more baking videos to come. So I think that should be fun, especially with the holidays kind of starting to come up and fall is like my favorite because I love pumpkin. So pumpkin content is coming. <laughs> so I'm just gonna mix the wet into the dry and combine really well until the dough gets thick and it says it will get thick. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Like that was actually pretty, Quick. I'm nervous. Okay. Do you always just get nervous when you tip a bowl over and it's just gonna fall? I always feel like anxious when I do this. I feel like I'm not gonna have like a good grip on the bowl. Let's whisk this all together. I'm so excited. You wanna combine it really well. You don't want any dry ingredients left on the sides. And else this is the best whisk. I just think it's so cute with the wood here, but it's like a silicone whisk, so it's not that strong. At least I'm getting an arm workout though. Just when I think I like mixing it so well and it's already done, I keep finding dry ingredients at the bottom. So definitely like mix a lot. This is kind of my first like cooking with me video. I feel like I do it, I've been doing it like where you can just see what I'm doing in the bowl. But this is kind of fun because I feel like I get to like talk to you guys and I'm cooking with you instead of just by myself. Even though I'm by myself. <gasps> oh, okay. That came out and broke. So maybe this wasn't the best whisk for this. I hope this is big enough. This is all I had. So <laughs> hopefully it doesn't spill over. I should probably use this and not my hands. It's like so fluffy, textured. This is so cool. I like want to play with. <laughs> I want to play with it. It's like Play-Doh. Okay, this is a giant bowl. I'm hoping I can. This is not not very easy, actually. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it like this. You guys are seeing me struggling right now. This is what it really looks like when you cook with me. You're getting it all, guys. Oh, 
I was supposed to line the bowl with parchment paper or foil. Awesome. Mom to the rescue, I had a car because I was like, do I really have to take this all out and line it with parchment paper or foil? But because I'm using a glass bowl, she said it should be fine. So we're gonna see what happens. And now I'm just gonna sprinkle you, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I thought it would be yummy to add rolled oats on top. So I'm gonna try it, see how it comes out. You just sprinkle them on top. You can add oats or seeds, whatever you want. But I thought this would be yummy because it kind of adds a little bit texture to the top. I usually like when I have bread and it has like oats on top. I think it tastes good. So that should be yummy and adds a little bit of extra protein and fiber in there, which I find a lot in store-bought bread that you just get a bunch of carbs with no fiber. I mean, there are some, but most of those that do actually have like enough fiber in them that I would be happy with buying are not gluten-free, they're whole grain. So sadly, I cannot eat those. This is what it looks like right now. It's ready to go. And then I'm just putting it in the oven and they said to cover it with a foil tent. So I have this piece of foil here that I already folded in half and I'm just gonna set it on top, I guess. I don't know, I've never done this, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put it in the oven. The oven's already ready to go and preheated to 325. Get my oven mitts out. So I don't wanna burn myself. And we're gonna pop it in the oven. So you bake it for an hour and 45 minutes total, which is kind of a long time, but 55 minutes, you're gonna have the foil tent on top. So I'm gonna put it on right now. And then the last 50 minutes, you take the foil off. So it browns on top. So I'm gonna add this foil tent on top right now. Just leave it like that, I guess. And then I'm just gonna set it for 55 minutes. And then we'll check it after that. I'll see you in 55 minutes. Now, don't be late. The timer just went off. So the first 55 minutes have gone by and it already smells so good. Ah, it smells like just fresh, warm, delicious bread, which is what, is it, what it is. But it just smells so good. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, you guys, I wish you could smell this. Oh, wow, it's so good. Okay, so I'm taking the foil off and I'll just leave it here just in case I need it again later, but I'm gonna put it back in for another 50 minutes. So we're gonna check it again in 50 minutes, and I really hope it's not dark by the time it's done so that you guys can see what it looks like. But here, let me just show you what it looks like up close really quick before I put it back in. This is what it looks like right now. So pretty, it looks like bread. The timer just went off. So this is gonna be the actual reveal. I'm nervous, you guys. I hope it came out good, really good. It smells so good. I really want it to be good because I really want to eat it. The candles are making me so happy too, like cozy vibes. It's like seven o'clock now, two hours later. Mm, it smells so good. I can't tell if it's done though. I hope it cooked through all the way. I'm nervous. I'm gonna like, stick a knife into it, I think, and see if it sticks or anything. And if I have to like put it back in, I'm nervous though. It's just like a little bit kind of gooey. I don't know if you can see that. It just has like a little bit on there. So I think I'm gonna put it back in for like, I don't know, 10 more minutes just to see. And then I'm gonna check it again. Stand by. <laughs> the 10 minutes just passed and I'm gonna take it out again. Pray that it is perfect. You guys, I just, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if it's working. I feel like it's still not fully cooked. I don't know. I think it's done. Let's do a cut test. Well, we have to let it cool first and then I can cut it. I really hope it. I feel like I can't cook it anymore though because it's already been cooking for so long, but 
I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna take it out and put it on a cutting board and then we're gonna cut it and I will show you what it looks like. I let it cool and I finally got it out of the pan. It was a little stuck to the pan and I think maybe next time I'll spray it a little or actually put the foil or um, what is it called? Parchment paper in there and I think that that might be a little bit better but I'll show you what I mean. This is what happened like in the pan or the bowl. So it's kind of stuck and I had to like use a knife to kind of scrape it off. This is what it looks like. And it looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut into it and then I will show you the finished product once it's cut open. And I'm gonna do a taste test too. It's kind of a win, kind of a fail. It's my first time though, so I'd say it's kind of a win because it was my very first try. But the edges around the bread, I'll just show you. It's easier to show you. But kind of um, just fell apart, I guess. That's what it looks like. Like on the inside, it's like nice and moist and bread-like and actually just the, like the edges kind of just fall, fell off. So the middle kind of fell out of the bottom and the top. But it looks pretty like in the round part. I would say it's pretty good for my first try. Here is the finished product. This is it. It looks so good. It's kind of falling apart, but I would say it's kind of a win, like it tastes good, so. It actually tastes so good. Wow, this could be dangerous because I might just eat like the entire thing, but. Mmm. It's really good. Probably the best bread I've ever had actually. I think I'm definitely gonna be trying this a lot more. So maybe I'll perfect it and it won't fall apart. The next time I think it was because I kind of had to like dig under the bottom to get it to come out of the bowl. So I think that's kind of why it fell apart. So I think if I actually sprayed it next time, it would be perfect. But I think this was so fun to do and I highly recommend making your own bread at home and it's just filled with so much love and it is very tasty. Mmm. 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 Mmm-hmm. Yummy. Well, I'm going to end this video here. It is dark outside and nighttime and we're going to eat some pasta that I made yesterday so we'll have the leftovers with the bread and it's gonna be so yummy i can't wait for ryan to get home so he can try it please like this video and comment down below if you did like it i'm gonna end it here and i will see you later